just any Omena clip So I stand on sing this thing. Taurai, Taurai, O Taurai, He se Taurai, He se Taurai, Taurai Mumoyo Mangu, He se Taurai, Hai Mumoyo Mangu, He me rarama I wo rarama, He se Ora rama i ora rama i se rama i se rama rama i mumo yo mangu i se rama o mumo yo mangu e me rama i ora to se chi chama
Jesu Kristo tina ukutenda ishe na mwari wangu maniruano na kuda kwenye shazenyo mwari wangu na shazenyo pa upenyo edu ma tiche ngeteza ma tipo achipo cho upenyo nerara muishe tina ujitenda baba shamasimba ma titenda la shakari kwa tiri muimbenyo kuda ishe mzimbo ishe Jesu Kristo Yakafadza Davida pane mwe nguo akukirwa kuimba ya mngari Mufaru wedu wa shakari manero ano kuti baba Matiko kama tikuwanisa kutitendera baba kuti wanitinoshika baba mwashe zenyo Tiko kushumirai, tiko kuungai, tiko kuna matai Tichitenda mabasa enyo makuru osa muno titila misine nguwa Baba wangu na mwari wangu isu cheso Ndimi makatu pa kukere muna isaya Mukati uyai kwa ndiri makana ta makana mero ndoku sorodzai Mukati uyai mutenge rupone shoguru pasina mari pasina mubadaro Ishe wangu tina kukufara kuti ishe Mwase zenyo munu wane kwa upenyo Munu wane kwa mufaro munu wane kwa rukare Munu wane kwa rupone so ishe jeso Zino tora isu ishe kuti kuzukamu chile ishe kuti mripa kati pedu ishe kuro kwa mune makadai kuna ita mshukurenyo Kuti ishe tipe munu taiti kwa zwa kanaka Shiba tsirai se jesu mwe yenu baba sama simba Shairi kudai kuno gaziri wano kuhimbo kwenzi onze zioni jehova mngahari I gaziri kaziro kwa zukuti kwa se minda ya karimiri wa zaka kwana zaka zara zaka naka Kuti shembe uye shoko ido nere baba pavura kanaka sezo atiri kuhimba Kuti taurai ishe taurai mumoyo mangu pindai ishe pindai mumoyo wangu Tino zwa zaka kosha sei Kuti mi mwari mutore hugaro mkati maa na zedu Zwaka nakisa sei mwari kuti mutaure nesu Ne kuti manzwa wano isha ana zwa ano tipa kana kutira na misa ishe Ati shokori mwebe ziri no foko mwari mwari Rune isa shandu kwa pa upenyu hedu Rune isa chayeza baba mchoka zedu Tinoana kutunga miri kakurinane Tinoana kuya uchi zwa zirinane Tinoana kurangari zwa zwa mperi ishe Zwika tiba sila upenyu hedu wechi kristu Bat sila ini kupindira pangwene ishe wangu Tiri kukumbira mutire gerewe ishe jesu kristu Pane chose Chatinga na itapata umwene umwedu Chisina kuringa na pauso wenyu Ishe pa kufunga pa kutaura pa kubata pa kuita Tire gerewe zuro kwa zwa tinuranga ra ishe danyira pane mwenguwa Aka kumiki za upenyu wake kunya mwene zunza rosila isi hairi Kuti ishe mutire gerewe zuro kwa zwa ne kuti akati Kwa muri kune utso ene nukuru rama ishe asi kwa tiri Kuzele kupesa na kwezi iso zunwa zunu zunwa ni kapatiru wa shakare Asiti no tenda Nuhu parakade uka paka ufari kuti isheri no tisuka Baba kufakune kusaru wa meiko kose ishe Atiri kunge tiri tine kupomeri wapa hana zedu Ne kutikune wimbi suwe kutikana isu tisuna kupomeri wapa hana zedu Chatino kumbira chose tino gamo chizwa Tino ziwa paka dipedu paona onoru wara Wari kuto na kufapano wa pora Kune wari kuchema onda kunyara zwa Kune baba wanoda maskufiz Panguwa ino tenzi Wanda kufamuno ise wane guzi Kano yukute wakamu chizwa Chiti batsira ishe Buriza ane kushumiru wako shokure nzira Pamu soro ya muno taura na yone isu ishe Kuti patino famuno mwarimu Mwone mwano wati shaka shakari ngana Kwa mwimba jehova Nekuti taitiri wa shakana kataropa fazwa Tangaine isu mpeze nesu Zodesa upenye uri mamuri Muzita na tenzo yonu jesu kristo Amen Amen Aleluya Aleluya Amen Vangana wa rukufara madekwa nanu Amen
kana chifara tino kona kudera amen irinani kufura izvo zvo hallelujah ah it's better now amen tipe chipo chekombera kuna ishe we may take our seat amen I am resolved no longer to linger charm by the world delight things that are higher things that are nobler things Lord my son oh I want to sing in that city where the lamb is the light. Amen.
There is a country far beyond the starry sky. Oh, they say city where they never comes in eye. Oh, if we are faithful, we shall go there by and by. Oh, is the city where the lamb is the land. In the city, in the city where the lamb is the land. Oh, the city where they come with no night. Oh, I have mansion over them, and when people to him I am going with the lamb. Oh, in the city, in the city where the lamb, just a chuchamago. Oh, the city. I am going with a second place. Oh, here we have our days of such and bad below. Oh, oh, we'll be sent to clouds and rain until we we'll go. Oh, to the city with a little Oh, in the city, in the city. Oh, shall be one little in a day without an eye And our chest up forever wiped away Oh, in the city where the lamb is the love Oh, in the city where the lamb is the love The city where the calm is the Shikomborero, Alleluia, Kanaini, Kanaini. Danza ne Shikomborero, Zado ne Tsapasi, Imi Muno Dira Muno, Ira So Setenzi, Ongandi Diri Tweo. Oh, can I in the can I? Can I in the in the one can I? Did it so? Oh, can I in the can I in the can I? In the one can I did it so? Oh, I'm a monster in the Oh, can I 
Praise God. Tinga simuka nesu kazedu. Tudakimba kambwa katichi kazira. Kuya kwe shokona mari. Amen. Jimbo ya kanaka. Omo shawaze ova. Olenga rema tenga. Dengam rewuchene oyiyo Unjimbo, jimbo yaka Hanaka, unoye nari Niku kaye yere Oso mpambe panika Get it! 
And uh, that all the committees are just doing according to the allotment of their duties. And the resources that we are gathering up as a church are coming into uh, their places. Uh, and uh, let us be prepared for the blessings that are going to be poured during the meetings. Uh, Sister Hilda traveled well uh, to and from South Africa. Uh, there are some resources that we needed over that side and uh, she uh, brought them for us. I'd like to appreciate the Lord. Let's continue to be in prayer uh, so that uh, we can uh, prosper uh, and be in line according to our plans. These brethren are coming from two countries. Latvia. Latvia. Uh, that's where the brother called Dima Doromins come from. He's the interpreter. Um, Ziri. And the pastor and the son who is a deacon in church. Pastor is brother Pavel, meaning Paul. Uh, comes from Lithuania. Balkan states. Um, Balkan states. Because they are around the Balkan Sea. Uh, the Balkan sea. They were in the USSR. Uh, but now they are part of the European Union. So when you say Latvia, it's but just 300 kilometers from Belgium. We get into France. France. Germany. Germany. All, the, the, all those areas. So, thank you for praying for these meetings. We have brothers coming 
locally as well. From the local churches. Then uh, local churches. My local churches, okay. Yes, the other assemblies. The other assemblies. The other who may want also to be with us. Let's be praying for the meetings continuously. The brothers arrive in the afternoon on Thursday. We also have uh, Brother Lothari from uh, Kuruman coming. Brother Lothari, Kuruman, who arrives on the Friday. So, I think all is well said. May God bless you. Let's continue to ask for the favor of the Lord for the success of the meetings. Before my break, I am finishing, I'm, 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 I'm just throwing something on prayer, the most powerful weapon. We are still looking at praying without ceasing. I thought I was through on this. But I've only done 10% of it. So today I'll just be based on the quotations. For me to cover on that. Let's pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, you said there shall be light around the evening time. We are in the evening time, oh God, according to history, according to times. And Father God, in this time, there has come the light shining on Mount Sunset. The seven angels coming. Father God, they've shown a light in this time because civilization has been traveling from the east to the west and the gospel is resting there. That's where, Father God, our prophet came from as well. Knowing, Father God, if we've gone to the western side, the sun must rise again from the eastern side. It will be another shalom. It will be a breaking of a new day. It will be, Father God, another day. Lord Jesus, entering into that eighth day, may you undertake for us, O oh God. We desire to meet you sometime in the morning. Father God, when you come in to pick up your church, we are, Father God, preparing for that and want to thank you for a message that does prepare us even for that moment. Lord Jesus, tonight we've come to sharpen once again our relationship with you. Lord Jesus, we've got many things that are in our hearts. And Father God, at times we'd ask our miss and therefore fail to get what we want. But through the prophet, through the scriptures, through the things that he has left us, we can now approach you better. We are praying this morning, this evening, Father, that you may open a door even unto us and also the spirit of truth and revelation to come, O oh God, and make us apply this message even in our lives in a day that is evil like this. We want to pray, dear Lord Jesus, thanking you for safety, thanking you for looking after your children. You traveled with Sister Hilda to and from South Africa. The visitors who are coming, Lord Jesus, let them have genuineness from you. Lord Jesus, we commit everything, even the whole program. Father God, it may be bigger than us, but it may not be bigger than you. We commit everything into your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our usual scriptures. I'm in... Um, First Thessalonians chapter five. But Thessalonica we tanga chapter five. I will make a strike. It's a very important strike I'm making tonight. Ah, ukukuruvera ukupanongonya kunova kunokosha maneran. Thank you for making it to church tonight. And all those who are still coming, God bless you. Verse 16. Our rejoice evermore. Verse 17. Pray 
without ceasing. Verse 18. Verse 18. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Shall I take our seats? I want to comment a little bit on the will of God. How do we know? How do we find the will of God in the things that we do? Romans uh, 12 Verse 22. Verse 22. And be not conformed to this world. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. When you have a transformation, you are moving continually forward. You think of a butterfly. It starts being an egg. It becomes a pupa. It becomes a worm. Uh, going on like that. Fourth stage. It becomes the most attractive flying thing. When you see it in the valley, you can never imagine was this the thing that was a pupa? Was this the thing that was just an egg? Was this a thing that was a worm? But now it has reached the fourth and final stage. And it begins to fly. When you see it in the valley, it's so good, so attractive. When it was a worm, Madura. Maybe you would, you would never think one day it would fly. The power of transformation. And in every stage, the stage that it passes, it does not go back to it. If it was an egg, it does not go back to that it was an egg. Unless if it's another productive process. Praise the Lord. Amen. So if it is an egg, and when it goes on to the next stage, it does not go back. When it becomes a pupa, when it becomes a world, it does not go back. It is waiting for the last and final stage. That is the flying butterfly. Remember, Remember it's your stage is also in life. You are nothing to begin with. But God is defining you. God is giving you a stature. God is doing something through his word. Are we together brothers? And one day you will reach that butterfly stage. Let me tell you that stage of maturity when you are in it like butterflies you don't live too long. 
Are we together? Butterflies are there for two weeks. Three weeks. You don't find them. William Branham. William Branham. Capacity to speak. Full of the word. And is no more. Those are the stages. Transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good. And acceptable. And perfect will of God. So there is the will of man. Sakapani kuda kwavanu. Then the perfect will of God. Kweta kuda kwakwana kwa mwari. It's so easy. Jakare ruka. Not to be in the perfect will of God. Kuti ufambe usiri mkuda kwakwana kwa mwari. Balam. Balam. Was not in the perfect will of God. Akanga hata uka kubwa mkuda kwakwana kwa mwari. A human being may be going. Having successes in life. But not in the perfect will of God. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Like we said before. The will of God. The will of God. Is his word. When you are in the will of God, you are in the word of God. Let me say a little bit uh, concerning that. In this message, the prophet Elisha, the prophet says, now they went off in such a hurry without considering God. That's where people make waste Errors. They are moved by the situation without consulting God. Do you want us to move into this? People are let in maturing to that. They are moved by circumstances. They are moved by the things that are happening around them. They make decisions. They begin to practice things and do things. But in it, if you look at it, if you sum it up, there is no the will of God in it. And when they found out that seven days was up, well, their water supply was cut off. They were relying on water because they had livestock as their riches. But these ones, the supply of water is then cut off. So when it is cut off, it means you begin to have problems. You are not on top of the situation anymore. They didn't have any water to drink. And there, they was out there with their cattle and with their animals and their water supply was cut off and it looks like that it was just about the end of them. You have put yourself in a difficulty because you are not going in the perfect will of God. You are reacting to situations. Yet the will of God through those situations, you can come to it as well. So, now they are 
in a problem. Now that's what we do. Sometimes we go off on a tantrum some way and not think about God, not pray over it. This is a very defining situation. It looks like it's unseating you. But at the same time, don't be moved by circumstances. Prayer changes things. It gives you the direction of God. It opens before you the will of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. And not pray over it. Ask the Lord whether we should do it or not. And we find out that our supply of blessings is cut off. Then we wonder sometimes. Well, we wonder why I can't have no more blessings. You don't watch. You let down in your prayer life. Sometimes I find myself in the situation. Then I begin to see things are not moving on well. I begin to cry now. And ask for the hand of God. Why are you leaving me in this situation, God? Don't you love me? Am I not your son? But if you assess and look, you have not done right in the beginning. You have gone on without the God you are now crying to. Whether it be a project, choice of a school in life, was to be done in life. We move nine times out of ten being ourselves without consulting God in those important matters. Ninety percent yazo tinongo famba takafarana ni mumbe zinenda kudiba tisinga mbapu nzo mwari furiro ya wone remeke nzo ya wapa mzoro pasu. Only to find things not moving the way they should. Chozo ngo wona taenda kumawere. Only to find things giving breaks where they should not apply breaks. Chozo ngo wona zinu zatino ita zapka izo zisinga fanre kupuka. The blessings are cut off. Because you are not moving in the will of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So how do you know the will of God? You pray. You consult God. Is this what you want me to do? I see a situation is like. This. Do you want me to do this? God answers prayer. God can talk to you back. This is exactly the discipline we want God to instill in your life. Well, you wonder you can't have the blessings no more. And we find that our blessings, supply of blessings is cut off. You don't watch, you let down in your prayer life. You say, well, I am a Christian. Well, that's the more sign you should pray more than ever. Whether 
When you say you are a Christian, God requires you to pray the more. He now knows you are now knowledgeable. You must now pray. Because your things don't come by chance. God must be leading them. But if you don't have this characteristic of prayer, how do you apply your things? How do you do that? If you don't have that rapport with God, how do you know you are in the will of God? Because tonight, you are going to see certain circumstances looking hard. Yet God being in it, you must still know. Am I still in the will of God? Are we together? Look at it in Simina. Simina. It was a persecuted church. Until the people who were not believing well were thinking God had forsaken his people. Why are we being butchered? Why are we being killed? When we are supposed to be God's children. They are thinking was natural. But God answered them. My love to you does not mean you don't enter into problem. My love to you was elective love. Where there were many out in the world, I chose you. I made you a part of me. You are also going to see. Brother Branham says, Brother Branham Manoti, if you are a fruitful branch, if you are a fruitful tree, the owner likes pruning it. For a fresh, fresh shoot. So that the tree can produce more. But if you are not a man of prayer, then you get confused in many ways. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, that's more the sign you should pray more than ever. Read the Bible every day. Pray every day. Don't make any decisions too harshly or too quickly. Without first considering God about it. The emotions it can pose. Is what you must crest above. Don't be moved by situation. And you jump yourself into things. Where is the prayer discipline? Why are you putting yourself into danger? Because if you do it that way, you are bound to come out right. Are we together, brothers? Praise the Lord. Amen. I like the way you are quiet because I'm really going to be saying great things tonight. Don't make any decisions too harshly or too quickly without first considering God about it. Ask him, shall I do this further? Ask him, is it your will for me to do this? Then see what the Holy Spirit will speak to you. He might not give you an, uh, a vision, but he will speak to you some way to let you know you will be sent, if you will be sincere and ask him. Ask 
kuti ishendi kaita hizi ndine nge ndiri mkudawe kwenye ere kana kuti kweti uchazo una kuti ye mwe ya mtsweni uchao ya achikupanga bazani Look at the disciples. Before the coming of Titus. Uh, Titus sasa tawia. They had a prayerful life. Vaivene upeyu umuna matu. God comes to them. Mwari anu vashanyira. Titus is coming on this day. Titus arugu ya msu wakati. You must be out of the city. Muzuwa iroro munu fanange mabuda mkuta. Because it's surrounded by walls. Neguti guta. Rine rushingo. When Titus comes in, Kana Titus achinga apinda, he will close the walls. Acha pfiga masu. And a lot will die. Uye vajinji vachafa. But not even a single disciple apana kana mudzidzi umwe chete was caught up in that. Akapinda na nenda mudziko iro. They were all out of the danger. Vakanga vabuda munyatwai. This is how God can lead his children. Ndiko kutunga mira kunoita mwari vana vake. But how does he do it? Asi ano kutunga mira how sei. How does he communicate with you? Ano taurira na onewe sei. Go to him. Enda kwari. In prayer. Na mato. That's when he answers. Ndipo pano pindura. This will go on like this. Chendera mberi sezizi. This will go on like this. Jigo famba sezizi. And that's where the strength of brother Branham was. Ndipo paivele simba kana vandu zoya brother Branham. When he's still in the room. Pavani ngevari murum mao. Pray for the meeting. That's when God would come down. He would tell you, you pray for so many people. There will come a woman like this. There will come a man like this. Such and such will happen in the Reason why he could stand so firm. And with all the faith, and with all the strength without fearing and wavering because back there in the room he would have talked to God brother that's not only for brother Branham it was done in order for you also to copy from that that God can give you the same leadership he can lead you in the same way and you can prosper in your ways. Today you have a myriad of decisions. You want to take a decision about your business. Maybe it's not doing well. But you want the will of God in it. About your children. Maybe there are things that you are expecting out of them and you want God's mind about it. Your own wife. Where you must stay. The kind of church you must be in. All those things. They must come by prayer. And when you do. You know I'm in this place. Because God. Wants me to be here. I spoke to him. He answered back. But nine times out of ten, you talk to a Christian. Are you in the will of God? A person says, I think so. I am not sure. But life is progressing by the day. If you are not in the will of God, what then are you in? It means you are walking as men. If you continue to walk as men, it becomes dangerous. Because the supply gets closed up. Are we in church, friends? Praise the Lord. Then we see when this crisis come, it just showed who was down in their heart was yet a believer. Zino angua ya tifambe, tino zona gare gare, kuti mohana maive nei, mohana emtind. That was Jehoshaphat, he said, well, here we are, no water. Jehoshaphat, ndie wakazoti, yezoti ripano, mvura ya pera. 
When you speak of Jehoshaphat, he is one of the best kings of Israel. He is error was only very minor if we would compare it to the other. He had more successes in his life. Go to it. Second Kings. Second Chronicles uh, 17. Going forward like that. Chapter 17. When he's taking it from King Asa. He progressed so well. God was so happy with this guy. His only problem was his association, his alliances. This is what made him have no favor before God. He prospered as a nation. He grew it economically. He grew politically. He did well religiously. That was very good. But his only problem was based on alliance. He did not consult God enough. Now he finds himself with Ahab. A man who is already under a curse. And he is being told by Ahab. Your people are my people. My battles are your battles. Are you sure? When you have has a case already by Elijah that the dogs would lick your blood. Where does Jehoshaphat come from? Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat blindly walks into a relationship. He does not do things by prayer when it comes to that. This is what caused God not to like him. He was just blindly getting into alliance. People come from Egypt. They come there. He makes an alliance with them. But has God allowed you to do that? That alliance you are in now. Has God given you the green light? The friendship that you say you now got. Is God in it? Or oh, we are already becoming an enemy with God. Look at it now. He gets into trouble. Because Mikaya. Contrary to the other 400 prophets. He stands out of the crowd. He says the king will not come back. If he comes back. Then God has not spoken. He was so sure. But why is he so, so sure? Because God has spoken to him. In his private house. Before these messengers come. He had a vision of it. But for you to have a vision, you must also be such a disciplined person. Because if you are jumping, then God has no time to talk to you. Are we together? Amen. So this guy prophesies. Contrary toward Zedekiah. The, 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 the national priest had said what everyone else of the prophets had uttered. He says if you go and come back then God has not spoken. I like a Christian who is that confident to know I'm making my step because God is in it. Are we together? When a Christian can move like that, they become safe. They become pleasing to God. They become the apple of God's eye. And God is happy with such believers. Not to go 
20 miles. 20. Oh, we are in it. God is, is not in it. He becomes permissive. When will the believer mature and be in the will of God? What, what is it that brings that maturity? Prayer. That relationship with God. That reading of the Bible every day. Praying without ceasing. It sharpens your relationship with God. Are we together, brothers? Yes. And Jehoshaphat has this problem. Now God has to deny him. Simply for silly alliances. It's not everybody who says I'm in Israel who is walking with God. Because this guy comes from Judah. And comes and makes an alliance with Israel. From the natural process, it looks the right decision to do. Ah, kuvao ah pama fambisi ro. Ekungo ona one sore nyama. Zunu zaga naka zaga ipe. Let me repeat this to you, church. The will of God is in His word. Is His actually His word. What you are doing is it the word of God. Are we together? And you, are you also in season? Yes, you may see a scripture, but you must also look at the season. He, he is Ahab. The scripture is there. Ramoth Gilead is ours. Gilead But is it the right striking time? Because their economy was shrinking. And they made an assessment. They said, but why do we suffer? When we were with Joshua, this is our place. The enemies are just in it. Why don't we go and possess it? The history is right. What we are saying is right. The quotation is right. But are you the right guy to go and possess it? Are we together? That's where the balance is. And that guy got very excited. The prophets also got very excited. The, 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 the economies got very excited. They made their the, the analysis the jump of the economy. The contribution the economy was going to have. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is right. But I see Elijah uh, has a case. He is not the right person to go and do that. So these guys, they move. And I have notices. Now there's this little guy prophesying. Hey, I better not go. I may not like what he's saying. But this is my life. King Joshaphat. Can we exchange suits here? You are the Guide, you are the leader of these 12 tribes. I'll just be a private person. Leaders King Joshua. He felt very honored. Leading a bigger tribe. Together with his. Hey, it was very good. It may emotionally look good. But is God in it? That's the critical thing. That we are looking at. Tonight. Are we together? And in no time. The Philistines, the Philistines, all those guys, they are saying, still no blood. 
Let's just go for the king. And they are looking for Ab. And when they sought for him, they landed on Jehoshaphat. Only for him to cry out and declare his credentials correctly. Are we together, brothers? But why are we getting into problems when we can be on our knees and evade problems? The kind of hunger we may be may may be a result because of the wells that are being closed. In the way you approach to matters is not very pleasing before God. And when you do that, the wells get closed. The animals then suffer. The people can then drink. We have failed to have the discipline required. Praise the Lord. Are we in church, friends? I'm really going to say things here. By the grace of God. Yes. Let's not be like a millibird. Let's know we have a guide. I'll send you the comforter. I'll send you the Holy Ghost. He shall lead you. He shall guide you. It means for him to lead you. And guide you. You must have a relationship with him. You must have a consultative role before him. Is this the right thing to do? To me, it looks so, so attractive. That's the way I tell the Lord. Naturally, if I would have this, it would elevate my natural position. And emotionally, I would feel very well. But what do you say, O oh God? He comes to say, no ways. We are not entering into that. You no longer fight with the same God. You have consulted to know. Are we together? Look at the kind of marriages that we enter into. They are circumstantial. I've stayed too long without getting married. If I miss this guy, ah, I'm in trouble. Is God in it? Is God in it? Are we together? If he's not in it, are we together? Just a few years down the line, it will surface. You will testify on your own, by your own mouth. Pastor, I think I rushed. Don't think that's what exactly happened. You know your steps. You know your driving emotions. Yes. But people do things and they sh- enforce it to be with God. Oh. They break scripture, they break protocol and force it to be with God. Vanos- it's not like that. God is forced in many situations. Look at the going of Cain to the other land. God gave him the right way. Did he fall it? No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But he's now there exposed. As he complains before God. He you are not protecting me enough. Because I will be a vagabond. A man going by divine solitude. Are we together? Yes. Preacher. Before you take that. Usati wagu kuchiraishu. Is God saying, go do it? And this is what Brother Branham is saying. 
I've got gifted people here, Victor, brother, so, 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 so. I see them being moved by emotions rather than God. Because the gift is resident. Listen, I want to talk. Say amen. Say amen to this. Why do you resent the word when uh, you've come to the church? What's the ambassador? You have left the job that you have. Ah, and I want a promotion. I got a promotion. I'll be getting these bags. This, that, and the other. I will not research as a couple. You didn't research enough. Six months. When you stay there six months, then the CEO is gathering you up. Our head office in London. Our head office in London is shedding off. Uh, my business has been done. And it's, oh, it, uh, our company is one of them. Company is one of them. How are we starting? Chatanga say. Now when I'm a pecs mashoma. Those who have got uh, the little packages. Uh, you six months we come the new church. Ah, you have only six Saka months in that company. Ah, so. Because we come the new church. Ah, you are still a novice. You are still new, so the, it's not difficult for them to give you a package. Uh, you've been cast out from that job. Where you have left, where you had a, a mega pay, they now see you running around with a whole of feet or something. Uh, but I can't do wrong decisions in life. They marvel about that. What's happening? The economy is not right. Sometimes it's you who's in the wrong footing. This is what these people have done. No problem, That's the problem they're facing. They did not consult God. But if you consult God, he hears. It's no longer that uh, kind of truth uh, that we were given by the Catholics. That if you want to consult God, you have to go to the Pope. Yeah. It's now allotted upon yourself. Uh, the issue of being spent around by the Pope is over. Yeah. It's now the time that God should speak to us as an individual. You become irresponsible. What in January that you just go and drink saying I'm going to go and repent and the Pope will just give me a spanking it's now a time that when you do that God himself will take care of that that's why people became poor uh, they, they paid for novenas and indulgences all that it was a person who didn't have and who didn't want a relationship with God and this present time when we are saying the seventh age we still want to walk as carnal as carnal as can be why are you punishing your children because you fail to if you fail to walk right you have uh, given that same why are you punishing to your children. Your dependencies? Say, go. Why are you punishing your own wife? Because your decisions have a ripple effect. Somebody say amen. Amen. <laughs> and show me your company. I'll tell you who you are. And in the right the shamar zako, matsa wirako, jagu zaudu riai. I 
Ngati mwuri mshokora mwari ujisi ya wili ya mwari ujita shokora mwari. Yeah? Saying you are in the word of God and you live and forsake the will of God. Over time ya waita ukumbiga. The over time that you ask for. And you say, I failed to come to church because I was ah. going for overtime. Ah, 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 ah. Let us be people that know and really understand what they are doing. Are we together, brothers? Let me move on to the next thing. Brother, God bless you there. Brother Edingwere we mwana wako kufadze zikuru wangu uh, my nephew and I'll be there God bless you na abi mwana wako kufadze and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men always to pray and not faint ye wakaba udza chirawe ichi Praise the Lord. Amen. What is to faint? A murmuring voice. God does not want you to murmur. What has caused you to murmur? doesn't come easily. Is getting healed. To be told that Georgie Carter is getting healed doesn't come simple. The flow must be unpalatable. The environment around you and you must be praying while hungry even. You are going against the program for you to get certain results. Are you therefore that men pray everywhere? That's First Timothy chapter 2 verse 8. This is what the Bible is asking. Everywhere where man is, they must pray. But what we are praying for is just regulated by what is prevailing in our lives. Yes. This one may be praying for a second car, but the other one doesn't even have a first car. This one is praying for school fees, but this one has already managed it. But the Bible is saying, pray it now. Come with your needs before God. Communicate with God. Praise the Lord. I like this. Listen to this. In a message, a greater witness. The 53, 11, 15, E. Paragraph 16. Paragraph 16. Well, down in Korea, where the revival is going on, the Methodists, the Baptists, the Baptist, Presbyterian, Presbyterian, are giving, are, are having great healing services, speaking with tongues and everything. They say, are all these Pentecosts? There is none of them Pentecost. They are all Methodists and, and Baptists and Baptists. But it's just a pool and a strain 
kangori kanu kadone nziru wa pawari nukua numutoro wazu they just had to start praying waka ngu zuita mkuti waifanra kutungotu wapine mkuna mata waka ngu tanga kuna mata waka ngu tanga kuna mata the issue that we are facing do you just say how do we go about it do you wanna say how do we uh, break uh, this kind of a puzzle we may not be Pentecostals but is it not a promise in the world they are greed as men and they said we are starting to pray they just had to start praying listen and when you get spiritual God will take care of the rest so what makes you spiritual prayer it makes you spiritual some of the things you are not even praying about them but God, your circumstances and your surroundings, God just starts to sort them out. When you didn't even speak and spell anything about it, but if you just become a spiritual person, these guys were just praying for a revival in their land. But a revival, but that revival they are praying for, at home they've got school fees issues. They've got businesses that must be moving. The things they never mentioned in their prayer but they were in prayer and they became spiritual people. Everything they needed was sorted out without even saying anything. Prayer is powerful. Prayer is powerful. Can deliver the requirements of your heart. Praise the Lord. Mm? See, the rest of it just comes automatically. I want, I want God to give my son the Holy Ghost. Are you becoming a spiritual person? Yes. Reading your Bible every day. Praying every day. And the prophet is saying some of these things they will just automatically happen. I want to have an, uh, an opportunity in such an organization. Sometimes you don't pray out. You are praying for the church. You are praying for the meetings. You are zeroed on that. Centered on that. Those those As those things are being answered, then them other requests and desires are being answered. This is what the prophet is saying. You are praying for the meetings. God. Seeing that you are coughing, that you are sick, other things just get sorted out. This is what Brother Branham is saying. Those are so, Ukanamata. If you pray, you've done a good thing. Because the issues yeah. that are sorted out are yours. Are you in church, brethren? If you baptize here tonight and you Methodist, you just start in your church, just pray and get all the church to pray. Church then the encouraged church must accept the encouragement. You ministers do the same. Which means others were Methodists. But this was different. He's now pointing at them. He says, do the same. What are you doing? Get your church people to be praying. Yes. Just get the people to pray real good. The rest of it 
will take care of itself. God will take care of the rest. 